8:16 right now. So May marks the beginning of sea turtle nesting season here in Southwest Florida. And while visitors and regulars go to our beaches, there are some things you should keep in mind. Catherine joins us live from the Fox 4 Lounge with a reptile expert. So Catherine, what can you tell us? Good morning, Chris and Lisa. Yes, from May to October, we're going to start to see a lot of sea turtle nests pop up on our beaches here in Southwest Florida. So we brought in Jordan Danini. He's a herpetologist and a professor of biology at FSW. You also brought some friends with you this morning. We have Waffles and then Khaleesi's in the container next to him. What can you tell us about these guys? So Waffles is a lovely example of what's called an African sulcata or spur thigh tortoise. Uh, obviously, being an African tortoise, they're not from Southwest Florida, but we do have a very close relative of theirs here in Southwest Florida called the gopher tortoise, which are really important to our ecosystems, specifically the dunes and uplands ecosystems. Now sometimes tortoises can actually show up in the same habitats as sea turtles, uh, which often is cause for confusion for tourists or people visiting because they see a turtle on the beach and they think, oh, must be a sea turtle, so let's take it down to the water. Unfortunately, if you take a look at our friend Waffles here, he's similarly built to gopher tortoises. Look at those big, thick legs. Those aren't really good for swimming. So if you see a gopher tortoise or a turtle that kind of looks domed with these big, thick legs, it's not actually a very good swimmer. They're not a water turtle. They're a, a tortoise, which are specialized land turtles. So if you put a tortoise in the water, sometimes they can float, but they're not very good swimmers. So if you see any sort of turtle or tortoise on the beach, it's best to just leave it be. Maybe contact your local wildlife life officials like FWC if you're uh, concerned about it being injured or in trouble of any sort. All right, good tips there. And also, speaking about sea turtles, when they lay their nests or lay their eggs mm -hmm. on our beaches, how long does it take for those things to hatch? Usually about 60 days, give or take, depending on the temperature. Um, what's really cool about that, though, is that the sex of the eggs actually is determined by how hot or how cold the eggs are incubated at. So actually, if you get a little bit warmer temperatures in the mid-high 80s, you often get more females out of your clutch. If you get lower 80s, high 70s, you actually get more males out of your clutch. And if it's somewhere in the middle, you kind of get a mix, 50-50 ratio of male turtles and female turtles. That's really interesting. I never knew that. Absolutely. Very cool. All right. Thank you, Jordan. We'll toss it back to you guys, but we have more coming up in the next 30 minutes. Chris and Lisa.